Good morning. Welcome to Trinity's Advent Morning Prayer for this Saturday, December 3rd. I don't know about you, but December always is a very busy time, particularly the first week or two of Advent as everyone tries to fit all of their Christmas activities into the first few weeks uh, without backloading them too close to Christmas. In the midst of the, the busyness of this time and these weeks in particular, it's, it's extra important that we slow down, that we, we pause to listen to God, to be reminded, as cliche as it is, of the reason for the season. That we stop to hear the good news of Jesus, of his coming among us, of God present with us, and the hope of the world as embodied by him. So to help us do that, we've been gathering each morning for prayer uh, praying together uh, for uh, uh, for ourselves, for the needs of the world, joining together in, in, in responsive prayer and hearing God's word. You can follow along with these prayers by following the link in Facebook or YouTube here. Uh, it'll open up the Advent devotional booklet, and you can scroll down to the page that has both morning and evening prayer on it. That's where we'll begin as we pray together as Jesus has taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass, excuse me, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We'll pray together the morning collect. Uh, the morning collect is a prayer collecting our thoughts, our hearts together as God's people. As we join together in these words, praying, Our Fa O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Defend us by your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor run into any danger and that guided by your spirit, we may do what is righteous in your sight through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So our scripture reading for today comes from uh, Revelation 21, verses 1 to 4. And this is one of my favorite passages in all of scripture as it points ahead to the coming of Jesus and the, the, the hope and the longing that we have in his coming. John writes here in, in Revelation 21, 1 to 4, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people and he will dwell with them. They will be his, God, his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. I just love it because this so embodies the hope of Advent of this entire season, both of Jesus coming as a, a new baby coming in the flesh, but also as we anticipate an Advent of his coming again. This anticipates what God will do when Jesus returns, when he brings restoration, when he brings new creation and, and life, the fullness of what he began in his, his first coming. Is, is accomplished. A day that we all long for when there will be no more death or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. And truly we celebrate that at Christmas, that in Jesus coming, the old order of things is passing away. Ultimately, we look to that, to the cross and, and the death and resurrection of Jesus, that the old order of things is passing away and God is coming to do something new. Even now, all these years later, God is doing new things in our hearts and our lives, restoring us, renewing us, refreshing our spirits in him. 
I can keep going on. I don't want to preach. I, I, I just intend on, on uh, sharing these passages and letting you reflect on them. Uh, I got into it a little bit there. I want to keep this short. Uh, encourage you to sit with that passage, to reflect, to dream, to imagine, to hope, to dare to hope in it, in Jesus' coming. And as you continue to reflect on that, let's lift our, our hearts together in prayer as we use the prayer prompt, this question that simply asks, where did you see God at work this week? Just consider that question. Where did you see God at work this week? Holy God, we know that you indeed are at work. That's the whole point of your coming in the flesh, for your ministry, for your, your life, your death, your resurrection. We know that you are at work, but we also know that you are not just at work in the past from what we've read, but we celebrate the fact that you are at work in our lives today as you've given us so generously your spirit, your spirit of life, your spirit of resurrection. And so we pray that we would see, that we'd be reminded of your work among us, that we would see what you are doing in our lives, that we'd have eyes that are open to all that you are doing. That we would see you, that we would know you, that we'd trust you, we'd love you and believe you. So we pray that you would fill us with your spirit. Renew our faith, renew our heart, renew our life in you. Even as we pray together, O God, most high and holy, three in one, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we offer to you this day ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice. To you be all praise and glory. Amen. Amen. So as you go from, from this place to whatever you're doing this Saturday, receive God's blessing. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for being here. Blessings on your day. A reminder, you can join us for worship tomorrow at Sunday at 11 a.m. In person is fantastic. Uh, if you can't make it, we're also live streaming still Sundays at 11. Have a fantastic weekend. Thanks for being here. Blessings on your day. <laughs>